Hey everyone, welcome back again to another video. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we're going to talk about movement, something that is super important in Siege. Unlike other games like Valorant or CSGO, you don't have to stand still when you want to shoot. Exactly the opposite. Move around, go crouch, go prone, know how to pick the angles, how to make yourself a hard target. We have so much to talk about, so without wasting time, let's get to the video. And don't forget that I do coaching. All you have to do is message me on Discord. All right, the first topic that we want to talk about is how to move around and how to go backwards. You have to know how to use your moving keys, which is for me, at least, I'm playing on mouse and keyboard you might be playing on console but know how to use your w d s a if you have one guy right in front of us we can't just stand still and shoot it doesn't make any sense we are an easy target and we die we have to know okay what covers do we have behind us how can we move without turning our back to the enemy so if i see this guy i might be able to just go left and right you know move in front of him or at the same time hold my s and then go back to blue there is one practice for you guys to make your movement at least a bit better and that is what i tell my coaching students which is a s d w or doing the opposite w d s a so if i make a circle right here i want to move around this circle basically not going forward not going to the right more not going backwards more if i press one of the keys too much i go towards that way more w a s d w a s d i'm just moving around this circle you know, if I press one of the keys too much, like this, I'm pressing D too much, now I'm going more to the right. If I press S too much, I'm going back more. So you gotta know how to press all of the keys at the same level. W-A-S-D, W-A-S-D. First, start with slow, so W-A-S-D. And then continue just doing this with your fingers. Make yourself comfortable with your keyboard, with your controller, and try to do the opposite, because some of you guys have problem with the opposite side it's like quick picking for example i can't do shaco pick on the right side so i gotta practice this this just helps you to for example when you're holding your mouse when you're aiming when you're controlling recall to also focus on your movement it becomes your muscle memory now when i'm in a gunfight i can try to move with a and d or go backwards or just go forward you know go behind this cover or go to the left or just go backwards again or find my next cover you know that is why we have to practice this to make our movement a bit better let's talk about crouch walking a lot of new players or low rank players do this and it's super wrong so they want to move around or try to flank and they just crouch walk all over the map two things first of all you're not quiet you're making sound second of all you're in a disadvantage so when you want to pick your enemy your crosser might be low and you're slow so you just die what you want to do instead is alt walk, slow walk. So I have my slow walk on my alt key and I have to hold it. So this is normal walk, it's making sound, and this is alt walk. So you see it's slower and it's also quiet. On PC you go to controls and you come down and you see it here, walk is on hold, I have to hold it. And then if you go to customize controls, if you come down, you can find it here, walk, which is on alt. On controller, I remember when I was playing on PS4, you have to move your whatever shocker or the thing you're moving with slightly forward or slightly backward. So if attackers are top floor playing vertical or whatever, I alt walk like this, I'm standing, I'm not vulnerable anymore. I can just pick them and I'm also quiet. And how you want to flank basically is, for example, if you hear some ram gadget or box shotgun, they're playing vertical, you just walk like this, no crouch walking. And when they stop, when it's quiet, you again, hold your alt key and move. Next topic is crouching gunfights. I said it in the last video, you don't want to spam it like this because your head is moving from here to here. It's not that much. But if I crouch and then stand up, it's from here to here and the enemy has to adjust his crosser that's the first thing second of all if some guy is picking you from this door what you want to do is again use your movement keys what i told you and sometimes your crouch key in the middle of it so he keeps quick picking shoot a couple of bullets you know go crouch and then go behind the cover or just go backwards right shoot and then go backwards also a really good practice for crouching and just moving around at the same time is for example find the cover like this find the half fall now what i want to do is peek from the right side stand level and then go crouch peek from the left side so right now we are moving we are using our lean keys and also our crouch key all of them at the same time so crouch peeking from left moving to the right standing up so crouch peek like this from the right side and then stand up peek from the left side so you're using your lean keys your movement keys and also crouch key all at the same time next topic is moving and landing exactly on the angles for example we have this doorway and most of you guys pick it like this you expose yourself too much the enemy can just shoot your head what you want to do is just pick it as tight as possible or land exactly like this instead of picking like this what you want to do is make two holds on the wall so we want to move between these two and land exactly on them so i want to press my d 
and then stop right here. So you see, I'm kind of letting it go too fast. I hold my A and stop. This is kind of good. This is perfect. This is perfect. You see, you want to land exactly on these holes. Now, to make it a bit harder, we can make another hole in the middle. And now we can practice micro movements. So A, you see, I moved past the hole. I went here. So D, A, D, A, D, A. This helps you to get used to your keyboard and also know when to let go and when to hold more. So for example, if I want to pick this tight angle, I want to hold my A and then stop. I want to hold my A and stop. I have to pick this angle right here. Instead of pressing too much, right? not landing exactly on the angle and exposing myself, I want to do this. When it comes to picking your enemy, you got to add some movement. For example, we have one guy right there. So instead of just swinging and picking the guy, we want to do this. First, we can use Shaiko pick, which is like this, right? We expose our shoulder instead of our whole body and they start shooting. If you can't do Shaiko picks, you can just do A and D like this. Come close to the door, expose your shoulder. So you face this way instead of facing that way. Right now, I'm exposed. My whole body is exposed. But if I do this, if I look towards this side and go to the left, I expose my shoulder, my legs, something like that, and they start shooting. Or you can add crouching through your peaks. So I'm standing, I want to do this, right? And then go back. Sometimes I do this. I sprint to the door and go back. Sprint to the door, go back. It's the same thing with quick peaks like Shaco Peak, A and D. I'm just moving, exposing my hand, my gun, make them scared. And when they waste their bullets, I can just go and quick pick and swing. Now, here's another thing. Maybe I swing this guy and he's not there. He's actually getting cover. So I shoot a couple of bullets, add crouching, go behind the cover. Now, while I'm reloading, I want to still do this. Quick pick in case he's actually coming close and he wants to swing me. Next one is moving to another angle, but not changing your lean. For example, we have this angle right here. We are right now leaning correctly, lean to the right. The angle is on the left and we are leaning to the right. But if I come down while I'm holding this and I'm moving right here, this is not correct anymore, right? It doesn't make sense. I'm leaning through the ball. So I want to change my lean and hold it like this. Now, some of you guys actually make a mistake. You don't remember that you have to press your lean key or you're too slow and you die. So how can you fix this? Go into custom game, training mode, whatever. Right now, if I want to pick this angle, I should be lean to the right. And if I want to go here, I should be lean to the left. So what we want to do, so what we want to do is move and change lean in between. So right lean, go to the middle, straight lean, and then go a bit to the right and left lean. Now, what we want to do is do it fast. Now to explain it on the keyboard, I'm moving with A and then I press Q, which, has, which is my left lean. Now I'm straight leaning and I still hold my A and then press E to lean to the right. For the other side, I press D now and E and again I press D and then Q. Let's talk about sprinting. When should you do it? A lot of players that I coach, they just sprint in the middle of sight. It doesn't make any sense. What you want to do, hold your angles and just walk normally. So I'm holding this angle. Then I want to quick pick this angle, move around while I'm walking. Sometimes I use my alt walk. Why not? But do not sprint from here to here or just go like this. Don't do that. Or if you want to pick this angle, do not sprint and then just pick the angle. Also, if you're flanking someone downstairs, do not sprint top floor. If you sprint top floor, you're also making sound and they can hear you below you. But if someone's rappling on the big window and they're holding you right here, if you want to cross from right to left, don't worry about it. Just bring out your pistol or just run with your normal gun like this. What you can do is sprint to the cover and then aim and walk. There's also another situation when you can use your sprint key and that is called fake sprint. So let's say one guy is right there holding you. He's listening to your sound that you move in and then shoot you. So what you want to do is sprint in and go back and hold the angle. So that guy right there is going to listen to sound, hold you like this. And when he hears the sprint sound, he's just going to swing. So you bait him actually to swing and then you go back behind the cover and pre-fire him easy kill and let's talk about last one which is proning you don't want to move around while you're prone because first of all it makes a lot of sound and second of all just like crouching you're vulnerable you're in a disadvantage when you want to go prone is for example right here so you're holding someone when they want to swing and usually attackers gonna just quick pick this angle this angle and when they want to swing and pick this angle first of all their crosser is blocking you you're laying on the ground right here and they don't expect someone to just be here but keep this in mind wherever you go prone make sure you have a safe cover to go back in case you miss your shots or they don't fall for your trap so i'm holding this angle and i miss my shots or they just go back now i want to also go back behind the cover and i'm safe there's also another situation which you can go prone which i explained it in my other video for example you quick pick your enemy and you see him there now for the second time when you quick pick is right here so that means he's coming close to here to be basically swing you and just pre-fire and get the kill. Now, what we want to do is quick pick once, twice, we see him. And now for the third time, instead of just quick picking, you want to go prone, 
and free fire right here so it goes into our bullets and that's it for today's video everyone hope you guys learned something new make sure to like and subscribe and until the next one watch these two videos right here stay safe